Hi, Dr. Versalotti here. In this screencast, I'm going to talk about the assignment about the presentations. In this assignment, you're going to complete peer assessments on the journal article presentations. First, I want to give the rationale for this assignment. Constructive self-assessment using critical thinking is very important because as an instructors, as teachers, we need to consistently and intentionally evaluate our own teaching and our own assessment um, while creating the assessment and after we've used the assessment when we have the results of our assessment. So this is very important, but it's also very difficult and we may not always have the time to do it. So in this assignment, we're going to uh, complete a peer assessment to scaffold self-assessment, but all in, in thinking about how our experience as a student can inform our own teaching and our own assessment. But also we're going to use it to think about how to practice, how to um, evaluate the results of a given assessment. So in that, in order to do both of those things, there's two steps. In the first step, you're going to attend the presentation and complete peer assessments. Um, in the second step, you're going to look at the results of your peer assessment and think about what that means. So let's go a little bit deeper into the um, peer assessments. So um, you're going to do this via a Google form so that the instructor can see um, your responses. But I'm going, everything that you need to see is on the next page. This is um, mirrors the Google form. So um, first, you're going to have to put the basics, your name as the assessor, the presenter's name, the article topic. And then you're going to assess the presentation using um, the grading criteria. So let's look at that. Um, and there are uh, these criteria, the preparation guide, how well did the guide give you purpose and guide you um, and prepare the participants for the presentation. And you can give the guide a C, B, or A, and there's descriptors to help you um, figure out what matches there. Um, and the next one, presenting the information, how well did the leader present the information in the article? Uh, that can be scored a D through an A. Um, making connections, how well did the project make all relevant connections to the course concepts using specific terms and referencing course readings? So um, maybe the presentation didn't do that, or it wasn't clear, or they did it a little bit, but it was just tacked on. Um, over to the A, where several connections using the correct terms and course references were there. But in this presentation, we also want to be able to apply and use the information. So how well did the leader engage us to synthesize, evaluate, or apply the article's information in specific and useful thought-provoking ways? Um, the next criterion is about the assessment. How well did the format format and the content of the assessment match the presentation? Was the questions in the format misaligned with the content in the presentation? Or perhaps the content and type really fit the objectives in the lesson well? And the last one is about professionalism. Did the leader show professional engagement providing the materials on time and um, pre presenting in um, a professional way? So um, think about if there was something that hindered the process or um, the presentation because of uh, a lack of professionalism. For instance, if the 
materials weren't presented and um, you were unable to complete the peer assessment, that would um, be a lack of professionalism. And uh, there's a, so after you score, um, there is a place for you to tally and give a percentage. And that's also going to be asked for on the Google form. And then there's some specific comments uh, that you might want to, that, that it's going to be asked. Um, the specific part that went well, a specific area that could be improved, a specific suggestion for that, and um, making note of any missing connections to the course concepts. So was there something in the presentation that really connected with a, a specific course content concept or term that the presenter didn't make? Um, and maybe maybe one way reason that they didn't make that connection is because it's related to your presentation. Um, so only you have that information. This is a place for you to show what you know, what connections you are making as you attend the presentation. Okay, so let's, so as we said, the first part you're going to practice peer assessment. And then the second part, you're going to evaluate the grading criteria that we just went over used for this presentation. And you're going to submit a, the report to the Blackboard assignment um, feature. So there are two main parts here. One is reviewing the scores that you gave in the peer assessment and discuss whether you think those scores reflect a high quality assessment. Well, what about the average score um, according to what you gave? What was the range of scores? What was the distribution of the scores per category? And what does that mean? For instance, if on the second page, everybody got um, uh, an A in professionalism, what might that mean um, in the use of that category? So think about what the scores you, the scores tell you about the process of, a, of peer assessment using this form and also think about how you would revise it for the presentation. Um, what, what would you like to change about this and why? And once you make a revision, think about if the, how the principles of assessment might be affected as well. Okay, so that report would then be submitted through Blackboard. And then on the third page is how this assignment will be graded with the mechanics, um, actually attending the presentation and submitting the Google Forms. And then um, in this middle column, it's how uh, it is an evaluation of the quality of the Google Form responses. And then the last column is the assessing the quality of the report that is submitted. If you have any questions about this assignment, please post it to the discussion board.